Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Microbial World. In this video, we will be discussing an introduction to hypersensitivity reactions and focusing on the four types of hypersensitivity reactions briefly. So what is hypersensitivity reaction? Hypersensitivity reaction is an exaggerated or inappropriate immune response to an antigen that leads to tissue damage or dysfunction. So when a substance enters into our body, it could be pollen, food or any medication, our immune system overreacts to this normally harmless substance. This is what is called as hypersensitivity reaction. Now what is the reason behind hypersensitivity reaction? One reason could be autoimmunity. Autoimmunity means our immune system mistakenly attacks our own body's cells and tissues as if they are foreign invaders. For example, in case of rheumatoid arthritis, the immune cells attacks the joints. Another reason could be reaction against microbes. So in some cases, the immune response against microbes can cross-react with body's own tissues where microbial antigens resemble self-antigens. For example, after a streptococcus infection, antibodies can mistakenly attack the heart tissues and cause rheumatic fever. Third reason could be reaction against non-microbial environmental antigens. This is the case where the immune system reacts to harmless substances like pollen, dust, food or any drugs. Now the hypersensitivity reactions are classified into four types based on the immune mechanism involved. Type 1, Type 2, Type 3 and Type 4 hypersensitivity reactions. Type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. This is also called as immediate hypersensitivity reaction. This is because the reaction occurs rapidly within minutes after exposure to the allergen. The reaction is mediated by IgE antibodies. In this reaction, the allergen binds to IgE on mast cells and basophils causing degranulation, that is, the release of chemicals like histamine and inflammation. Examples of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction includes allergies, anaphylaxis, asthma. Type 2 hypersensitivity reaction this is also called as antibody mediated cytotoxic hypersensitivity. This is because it involves IgG or IgM antibodies attacking the cells and leading to cell destruction. The reaction occurs within few hours to a few days after exposure to the antigen. In type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, IgG or IgM antibodies bind to the cell surface antigens which activates the complement system or immune cells leading to cell destruction. Examples of type 2 hypersensitivity reaction includes hemolytic anemia, blood transfusion reaction, Graves disease. Type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. It is also called as immune complex mediated hypersensitivity. This is because it is mediated by immune complex that is antigen antibody complexes. The reaction occurs within hours to days after exposure to the antigen. In type 3 hypersensitivity, the antigen antibody complexes may deposit in the blood vessel walls leading to inflammation and tissue damage. Examples of type 3 hypersensitivity includes serum sickness, rheumatoid arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus. Type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. It is also called as delayed type hypersensitivity. This is because the immune response takes 24 to 72 hours to develop after exposure to the antigen. This delay occurs because it is cell mediated, which means it is mediated by T cells and not antibody mediated like type 1, 2 and 3 hypersensitivities. When an antigen enters the body, the T cells get activated and release cytokines which activates macrophages and leads to inflammation. Examples of type 4 hypersensitivity reaction includes tuberculosis skin test, contact dermatitis and graft rejection. 
So this is all about the four types of hypersensitivity reactions. In the upcoming videos, we will be discussing each of these types in detail. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe the channel for more informative videos.